Ja, ich dir auch das. Oh, ich dir auch das. Hey everyone and welcome to another episode. So in this one, we are going to be building this. So it's a uh, king size bed and we're going to do the headboard, all the woodwork, all the metal work. Um, the only thing that I did not do is the painting. I had it powder coated. So uh, I'll, I'll tell you now, I can't paint very well, but um, it's awesome. So we're gonna go through and I'm gonna split this into a couple episodes the first episode will be the footboard the next episode will be the headboard the third episode will be the side rail and if you look under there there's a center beam and the other side rail the last and final episode will be this woodwork all right so we got all the material in the shop kind of mopped the floors a little bit cleaned it up in here um Tomorrow we'll go ahead and start cutting things. We'll get all these to size, put the 45 degrees on them for some miter welds. Um, I need to go pick up the welder from my pops. He's got a nice MIG welder. Pick that guy up. Got our material and our vices. So funny thing, as I was pulling the welder off down my truck, you can see it's pretty heavy. It's a transformer welder and got a pretty good sized gas bottle on it. As I was pulling it off, you can see a uh, Kind of uh, ripped my pants there. Good thing I have some more. So this morning we're going to go ahead and start cleaning all the material, cutting all the material, and mocking it up for welding. And we'll probably get some welding done today too. So stay tuned and follow along as we start building this awesome bed frame. Hey guys, so we got the stuff cleaned. It's time to start building. The first part that we're going to build is actually going to be the front piece. So you can see it's made out of this square two by two tubing. And then I have a one inch piece, like one by two piece in there to uh, make my, my center support. And then it's gonna be hidden behind the wood. So we got the tube prepped. We got the band saw out. It's time to start cutting. So let's get to it. Okay, so we're making progress. As you can see, um, I was beveling these. The welder I have is only 120 amps and this material is 1.875 inches. Um, usually it's about an inch per thou is kind of the general rule of thumb to get your penetration properly. So with the welder that I have, I don't have enough heat, enough amperage to penetrate. So I'm having to chamfer these. As you can see, uh, it's important to try and keep the edge the thickness of it as close together as possible um we'll see if i can get the camera come on focus well it's not gonna focus but we're making progress uh we got this we're cleaning still we still got a lot of metal to clean we got to get all the mill scale and everything off that comes from all the rolling processes and then we got some really cool new tools to try out they are a two axis vise. As you can see, you put both pieces in there and it lines them all up all nice and square for you so you don't have to sit here and mess around with squares and clamps and all that, trying to get everything all nice and squared up. So I have one for each side. Uh, saw is still cutting, it's taken quite a while. Uh, if I had a cold cut saw, it'd be a lot easier. Or if I had a cold cut sandwich, that'd be pretty good right now. I haven't had lunch yet, so. Um, but those are bad for you. That's what that's what the government says, or that's what my mom says, or something like that. Um, cool. So that just finished up. We'll get on to the next one, start cutting that, and before you know it, we'll be welding some stuff.
right, so it's uh, somewhat late in the evening. My wife is probably wondering where I'm at, so I think we're gonna call it an evening for now. I got some of it done. There's still a lot to do. This is only the footboard. I still gotta make the two side rails, the centerpiece, and then the headboard. Um, got most of it all blended in. You can see uh, there's, there's still a little bit of work to do. I need to kind of go back around and fill some stuff in. You can see with the MIG welder there. And I need to clean this weld up in here as well. As the famous saying goes, or not so famous, whatever it is, a grinder and paint makes me the welder I ain't. Using this guy is a little aggressive, so it's good for roughing material out, but when you're trying to get the nice clean corners and everything, sometimes you gotta go in and do it with the file and sandpaper. Um, so yeah, tomorrow we will weld the other two beams in. You can see I got this one by two here, and then I on the saw, I cut that just now, I have the two by two that will be welded in here. Good morning, everyone. So, day number two, it looks like I'm dressed in the same stuff. You're probably wondering why, but let me tell you, these are my shop clothes. As you can see, you get a lot of uh, metal debris and stuff on the ground, and um, as you can see, things get dirty. So I, I usually wear the same pair of clothes whenever I'm doing stuff in the shop. That way I'm not ruining all my nice clothes. My mother would be proud of me. But today, we are going to finish up the footboard. Um, there's still a little bit of welding. We have to weld this one by two and this two by two from here to here. And if you remember on our drawing, right here, we have to set one at nine inches and the other at 13 inches. This will be the two by two and this will be the one by two. So let's get going. Um, still a little bit more cleanup and stuff to do. I need to clean this material and this material, I need to get all the mill scale off and everything. It's a lot easier to do all your cleaning before you weld. The reason being is sometimes it's hard to get into those little crevices. So prep your material before you weld. Okay, so uh, we got this done. As you can see, the remaining two bars are welded on. I still need to weld on a couple tabs to mount the wood eventually. Um, I first need to get the wood and everything to make sure that I make sure that it's gonna be flush with the face here. Um, so that's pretty much complete. We still gotta go through and clean up the wells, make them nice and flush and clean as you can kind of see I've done here. And, get the corners all nice and radiused and cleaned up and ready for paint. Um, so we'll go ahead and start working on the headboard now and then eventually we'll start doing the two sides and the middle beam. But for now, it's more welding, grinding, and uh, rinse and repeat. All right, so that's it for part number one. If you liked the video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. Um, for right now though, until we get to the next part, I got other things to do. Mm. Yum. Take care. Little puppy. Gone.